The future of the Phillies, obviously here in the minor leagues, and nobody knows these Phillies minor leagues like Jay Floyd. I'm Rudy Mezzi here alongside Mr. Floyd. So we're going to talk future a little bit. You know, during that 07 to 11 run, great offensive lineup. So we're going to talk about what the future offensive lineup can look for the Phillies. So let's start a catcher. What are you seeing for the catching prospects? We've got a duel of uh, solid backstops coming up for the Phillies right now. Uh, Jorge Alfaro, Phillies just got in the uh, Cole Hamels deal at the deadline this year. Number two ranked overall catching prospect by MLB.com coming into the 2015 season. So look for Alfaro as a considerable bat once he's healthy, uh, bouncing back from ankle surgery next season. Uh, could be a fast mover for the Phillies. Andrew Knapp, switch hitting catching prospect who we've talked to recently. Just an amazing offensive performance for him at the AA level thus far. Both of these guys looking really solid as far as uh, you know future at the backstop positions. One of those guys most likely to pan out, and you're going to be looking for uh, you know one of those guys as catcher in the, in the lineup going forward in 2017. You know, coming years for sure. So we're looking at the 2017 lineup. We're looking that far into the future. Let's look at first base a little bit. I know you like Kyle Martin a lot. Yeah, Kyle Martin. Uh, you know, fourth round draft pick out of South Carolina in 2015. But uh, you know, he's had a, had a great exposure to the pros right now with Lakewood. But uh, you know, ahead of him moving up from Lakewood to High A Clearwater was another first base prospect we've had on the show this year, Reese Hoskins. Reese, power bat, doing a lot, a lot of great things. So I think in a couple years, it's, it's uh, you know, likely that Reese Hoskins at the first base position could be you know, pushing his, uh, his way into the big leagues. But you're looking at the depth in the minor leagues being uh, you know, a tool for the Phillies to, to build on going forward. So if you've got not only you know, an abundance of prospects to maybe trade for considerable talent, you're, you're looking at this season where the Phillies uh, maybe saw the window was closing, maybe we're a couple years away from a, a team like the Arizona Diamondbacks seeing their windows closed, and they decide to start turning turning some guys over. Maybe the Phils could deal some depth for a guy like Paul Goldschmidt to fill in at first base. So if Reese Hoskins and, and, and these types of guys aren't aren't ready, you're looking outside the system maybe as well with, with the depth and, and the uh, the type of money that they have. I think that's a good point. You know, we see it every year. We try to project lineups, but there's just going to be some guys that you don't know where they're coming from. Free agency, maybe getting traded into the minor league system and then getting promoted. You just don't know. Anyway, though, let's move on to second base. I know you like Scott Kingery drafted this year. Yeah, Scott Kingery, second round pick uh, by the Phils this year. Lightning quick prospect, got quick bat speed, uh, kind of a slap hitter, not really a, a lot of power production coming from him. Uh, maybe along the lines of uh, Cesar Hernandez at the plate. So, uh, you know, if Cesar Hernandez doesn't stick, which I think he will, I think you're looking at years to come of Cesar Hernandez being, being a productive co contributor to that lineup. If I'm, if I'm projecting 2017 lineup, I'm looking at my, my everyday eight hole guy is Cesar Hernandez. So, you know, uh, maybe a couple years beyond that, maybe Scott Kingery's in your, in your everyday lineup. Uh, but I'm, I'm looking at Cesar Hernandez or, or maybe Kingery pushing, the, pushing his way in in the coming years. I think we can move over to the hot corner now. Is that kind of already decided for the next few years? You're locked in. My, Michael Franco's your guy. A uh, lot of power production there now. He's, he's great on defense, but you know, if, if you're looking at maybe the ability to get a guy that, um, you know, years past, we're talking about successful seasons of the years past. Pedro Feliz was a guy the Phillies got as a contributor. Uh, maybe not your, your stud every day, you know, cleanup hitter. It's possible that Franco could, you know, maybe swap corners, but I think you, you got him locked in the lineup for years to come for sure. So talk about Franco, who's already a pretty established prospect and another hot prospect everybody's had their eyes on as we move over to the shortstop position, J.P. Crawford. So that's kind of one everyone has penciled in. Not too much thinking about Freddie Galvis sticking around, but J.P. Crawford is a very exciting person to keep your eyes on. Yeah, Crawford's your number two hole hitter of the future. Crawford's one of the guys you talk to coaches and, and scouts around baseball. He's the guy that's got it. He's the lock in the Phil system to become a, a stalwart in the Phillies lineup for years to come. So uh, you, you, you referenced Franco as a guy that's a no doubt about it. Uh, placeholder in the Phillies lineup for years. Crawford's the next guy that's among those placeholders for sure. Let's scoot on back to the outfield now. Let's look in the left field. Um, actually, someone who hit a ball over that wall not too long ago is Nick Williams, just acquired in the Cole Hamels deal. A lot of excitement already around this guy. He's been in the uh, system for just a little bit, but a lot of excitement. Yeah, Nick Williams is a, a, a great bat. A lot of power coming from him. 21 years old at, at the AA level. Uh, amazing. So. Uh, if you're looking for guys to uh, be excited about, aside from J.P. Crawford, look to Nick Williams no further than Nick Williams uh, as a bat to be uh, really excited about. So scooting over to center field, there's actually quite a few options here. Uh, I like Odubel Herrera to stick around, not maybe as a starter, but definitely as some kind of bench utility bat. You got Roman Quinn, Carlos Tochi. I mean, they're plentiful here. Yeah, and, and you, you mentioned Tochi there, and that's, the, that's what we're talking about when I, when I referenced earlier about the, the Phils having so much depth in their minor leagues right now. Loads and loads to be excited about in the outfield. Aaron Altair, Kelly Dugan, 
Carlos Tochi, so R Roman Quinn's uh, the top of the heap as far as potential outfielders to make the big league. So uh, the depth there, Carlos Tochi's of the world. There's no, there's no room in the Phillies outfield for both Carlos Tochi and Roman Quinn. So you get one of those guys up, the other's going to give you the depth to trade for a considerable, uh, maybe a pitcher or a reliever down the road as well. And you just mentioned Aaron Altair, who as we move into the last position right field, I think is a good bet to be there for the future. Can you give me a little background on him? Excellent bat speed. He's really confident. He had a little cup of coffee with the Phillies last year, and he's built off of that. Learned from the guys that he was around for a little bit of time there. Spring training, spent some time learning from the Phillies, uh, you know, uh, veterans this year. So look for Aaron Altair as possibly being, uh, you know, a staple in the Phillies lineup for, for years to come. So we've covered all eight positions. One person whose name we didn't hear is Cornelius Randolph, the first round draft pick this year. Where does he fit into this? Uh, he's super young. So he's at the, at the rookie level, Gulf Coast League right now, 18 years old. Uh, a lot of guys might not be ready for the big leagues until they're 22, 23, maybe beyond that. So uh, let, it, let him go at a steady pace and progress through the minors as a young guy should and maybe look for him around 2019, maybe 2020. A lot of information, a lot of passion and excitement about the future. We thank Jay Floyd. I'm Rudy Mezzi.